Now we will be going through the design of the flanged wing. So first of all we will write down the cog length. Design. The flanged beam. Of the figure given below. For the following data, the first one that is the DF, which is equal to two hundred mm. Capital D is six seventy five mm. PW that is D1 350 mm spacing of beam which is 4000 mm center to center effective span is given that is 12 meter uh, it is a simply supported beam cover is given 90 mm D is equal to 585 mm Imposed load is given 12 kN per meter square. Use M20 and FE415. So, this is a problem. And we'll be solving the So uh, that is the problem. You can have this figure as well. So where in there's the plane beam. Now here we have depth of flange that is DF, this is your DF, then capital D that is 675 as well as BW is also given. So capital D if we talk about this is going to be your capital D. Then this is the BW and then you have this cover as well that is 90 mm. So suppose these are your reinforcement. So this is your D dash and you do have the D is equal to 585 mm. So if we just talk about D which is uh, of five eighty five <clears throat> so that's the one and you have this imposed load as well so this is imposed load and uh, this already given in the problem and we'll be solving step by step first of all we'll Find out a uh, factor bending moment, then we'll find out limiting moment carrying capacity, and then we'll carry uh, we'll calculate uh, C S G two. We'll select the bar diameter, and then we can finally calculate X U and M U.
and that would be our final one design calculation so so first of all we will be going through the first one that is step number one solution so you have this step number one computation of factor bending moment computation of mu you can say this is what we will be first of all calculating so we will calculate first of all with a slab so width of slab per meter square if we calculate so this is going to be df multiplied by rho so we have this df 0 0.1 into 25 and that is going to be 2.5 kilonewton per meter square then we also have Suppose load that is 12 kilonewton per meter square. So now, if we calculate the for total load, <coughs> so this is the addition of these two. So you'll get 14.5 kilonewton per meter square. So total load it is in kilonewton per meter square. If we calculate total load per meter, so you'll have this total load. Per meter means 14.5 multiplied by 4 it is the centered centered distance between the beam you will get it around 58 kilonewton per meter <coughs> and then uh, we have this dead load of the beam so dead load of the beam that is uh, Uh, <clears throat> this was the weight of the slab so the load of the beam if we just calculate so it is going to be d 1 multiplied by bw or dw you can say and then multiplied by rho so you have this dw as uh, equals to 0 0.575 575 mm multiplied by bw it is 0 0.35 and multiplied by 25 if you calculate this <coughs> so you will be getting the 5.03 kilonewton per meter so you will get total load as If we add 58 plus 5.03, you will get 63.03 kilonewton per meter, and therefore you will get mu is equal to <coughs> 1.5 into WL square by 8. So 1.5 into 63.03 into 12 square by 8 you will get here mu as 1701.87 kilonewton meter and that's the final mu you will get now we'll be going through the next step determination of limiting moment carrying capacity and limiting determination of MU limiting and that's the thing so let us assume neutral axis lies in the wave so I can write down assume a neutral axis lies in the wave and 
it means that df by x u is less than 0.43 and df by d which is equals to 100 by 5 pi that is 0.17 that is again less than 0.2 so uh, that's the same formula as you have seen in the earlier clause d 2.1 that is the formula and u equals to 0.36 x max by d into 1 minus 0.42 x max by d f c k b w d square plus 0.45 f c k b f minus b w into d f into b minus d f by 2 this is the formula we are going to use so from clause number g 2.1 page 96 as 456 we have this limiting equals to 36 x max by d into fck bwd square plus 0.45 fck into df minus bw into df b minus df by 2 so that's the thing we need to just put the values in it 0 0.36 into 0 0.48 1 minus 0 0.42 into 0 0.48 20 into 350 into 5 square plus 0 0.45 into 20 into 2950 so this is a uh, so we have just directly considered from the last problem 2950 or uh, even uh, i can just show you how to calculate that it is here itself multiplied by 100 multiplied by 5 5 minus 100 by 2 so this is going to be around calculate it we get it around 1582.4 kilonewton meter now um how to calculate this uh, width of the flange so this is the f calculation l0 by 6 plus bw plus 6 times df so this is going to be around 12 meter so 12,000 mm plus 350 plus 6 into 100 so if you just calculate it you will get it around 2950 mm and this is what we have considered here 2950 so um, that is the mu limiting carrying capacity now we can say mu limiting it is actually lesser than your mu and uh, what does that mean it means that it is a doubly reinforced beam so since this is doubly reinforced beam uh, we can say therefore we can calculate here mu2 which is equals to total mu minus mu limiting And that's equals to 1701.87 minus 1582.4. So therefore, MU2, which is equals to 119.47 kilonewton meter. So now, uh, step number three, we have the this step number. Determination of AST. So we need to calculate uh, AST.
now here uh, what we can do is to consider as let us say uh, tension force which is equals to compression force and therefore point eight seven f y a s t limiting will be equals to zero point three six W X U max by D into T into F C K plus zero point four five F C K into B F minus B W into D F. So therefore, you will get here AST limiting point three six into three fifty into X C max by D that is point four eight for M twenty F four one five multiplied by D is already given five five multiplied by twenty and you will have this second term point forty five into twenty into uh. We F we have calculated earlier two nine five zero minus B W it is B W it is three fifty and multiplied by hundred so that's the one and this is divided by point eight seven into four one five so if we just calculate here. We'll get it around eight four four one mm square. Similarly, we can get ASC as ASC. We can get from this formula uh, mu minus mu limiting. That is uh, mu two. We have called uh, already calculated uh, FS. That is equals to FSC ASC into d minus d dash. So therefore, we need to first of all calculate here FSC. Uh, we know that the formula is ASC, which is equals to mu two divided by FSC minus FCC into d minus d dash. <laughs> so mu two we have already calculated that is equals to one one nine point four seven into ten to the power six. And to divide by FSC, uh, as I told you, it is to be considered around three fifty minus zero point four four six into twenty into d minus d dash five eighty five minus fifty eight point five. So here you will get ASC. If you calculate here ASC, this is AST limiting. So area of the compression reinforcement is coming out to be six six zero mm square. <clears throat> Now similarly we can also calculate AST two. AST two we do have the formula that is equals to ASC FSC by point eight seven x one. So therefore we can just say this is from. Laws G one point two, page ninety six. Again the same thing here. So I'm going to again repeat. So AST two, which is equals to ASC into FSC minus FCC divided by point eight seven F one. So if you calculate here. So this is going to be around six twenty eight point four eight mm square. So that is S T two. So that's the one. And now, if you calculate total S T, total S T is going to be S T limiting plus S T two. 
So therefore, AST total that is AST limiting which we already calculated and AST two. AST limiting what we got is eight four four one. And now AST2 that is 628.48. So if you calculate here 8441 plus 628.48 that is 9069.46 mm square. This is how we can get the total AST. That's about AST now. What we can do? We can just uh, Go through the selection of bar diameter and number. So let us go ahead with the step number four. Selection of bar diameter. And number actually. So AST minimum equals to 0.85 BWD by FY and that is equals to 0.85 into 350 into 585 divided by 415 and this is equals to 419 mm square if you calculate similarly AST max that is 0 0.04 BW into D so that is 0 0.04 into 350 into 675 that is 9450 mm square So uh, we can just directly go for the calculation. And therefore, provide. Eight number thirty six five plus three numbers twenty five for AST. Therefore, AST provided will be equals to eight into five by four into thirty six square plus three into five by four into twenty square. So this is going to be around nine zero eight five mm square. Similarly, we can provide two number sixteen five and one twenty five for ASC. Therefore, ASC provided will be equals to two into pi by four into sixteen square plus pi by four into twenty square. If you add around 716 mm square so you just need to just check whether it is nearby your AST as well as ASC and that's how you, you have to just select the bar diameter as well as the number so when we talk about the this this one 8 number 36 mm diameter and 3 number 25 so they are going to be around 3 in a 3 row At the last, you may go for to check XU as well as MU if you wish to. So, this is how you, need, you can design a flange beam. In the next video, we can go for um, how to calculate the stirrups. Okay.